good day. We are highly welcome. Yes, um, on the board I have a question, or rather I want to talk on the index number. And I won't go into details telling you that uh, index number is this, index number is that, and so on and so forth, and all those kind of stories. Because I believe on your own, you've practiced them and you've read and even read them extensively to have a better understanding. So I'm going to draw a model, and I'm going to use that model to explain certain things under the index number for us to know and an easy way to derive the formulas for a better understanding. So it goes this way. This is index number which we have here. An index number, we'll be looking into two forms of the index number where we have the weighted index and the unweighted index, okay? So we have the weighted index. This is the weighted index. And we also have the unweighted index, okay? The unweighted. So, unweighted index. Now, under the weighted index, here we're going to talk about the Laspaye, the Pache, the Fisher's Idol Quantity, and the Marshall Edwards index number. While under the unweighted, we'll be looking at two forms here now. Here we'll talk about the simple relative index and the simple aggregate. So, we have the simple relative. And we also have what? The simple aggregate. Now, the little challenge students find or students have under this course or this topic precisely, it's um, um, deriving the formulas and knowing where to make you the formula to make use at the right time. So, under the simple average, simple related rather, remember, index number talks about price and quantity. So, whatever we're dealing on, we'll have the, the price and the quantity at the back of our mind. Now, there is this alphabetical value that is always added to every figure, which is being identified N and O. N and O. Now, just like N, new, it talks about what? The current year. So each time you see N, it talks about the current year. And each time you see O, it talks about the base year. The base year. And it's just like old. Okay, old. Previous, the base year. So, simple relative, here we'll talk about the price. And we'll talk about the quantity. Okay? Then the simple aggregate, we'll also talk about the price. And we'll also talk about the quantity. So how does it go? Always have in your mind that it is always the price over the quantity. It goes this way. Under here, we'll talk about Pn over Qo. Sorry. Pn over Po. This N simplifies what? The base year, isn't it? The current year, rather. And O here simplifies what? The old, the base year. So price will have Pn over Po times 100. For quantity, we'll have what? Qn over Qo times 100. Okay? So when we come over to this section, the simple aggregate. Now, take a look at this word, aggregate. Because of the word aggregate, here we'll now consider the summation of this value. Okay? The summation of this value. So here we'll talk about what? In price, this same value we'll have here is what we're going to bring up here. But there's a little difference there where we'll now talk about what? The submission. So, submission what? Pn over Po times 100. That is for price under simple aggregate. Now, for quantity, we have what? Summation Qn over summation Qo times 100. Okay? Summation Qn over Qo times 100. Remember, the reason why we have this is simply because we're dealing with the aggregates. Unlike here, the simple relative price and quantity index, nothing like aggregate. So it's just the value or the price per unit or per price that we're just going to pick from here. So under the unweighted, we'll talk about the simple relative in price and quantity index. And under here, we'll also talk about the simple aggregate price and quantity index. So let's move over to the weighted index. Weighted index here, we'll have the Laspaye, the Pache, the Fisher's Idol, and the Marshall Edwards and students find it complicated but I'm going to simplify it for you I'm going to make it easy or easier for you to understand okay so we have Laspaye we 
we have La Spire. Now under La Spire, we'll talk about the price and we'll also talk about the quantity. Okay? Under La Spire, we'll talk about the price and we'll also talk about the quantity. So, we'll also come over to Pache. We'll have Pache here. Yeah? we we'll also talk about the price and we'll talk about the quantity, okay? Then when we are done with this, we'll talk about what? Fisher's ideal. Fisher's ideal. We'll talk about the price and we'll talk about the quantity. Then when we are done with Fisher's ideal, we'll now talk of Marshall Edwards. Marshall Edwards, okay? We'll also talk about the price and we'll talk about the quantity. So, I'll try as much as I can to simplify this so that you understand it and get a better understanding like whenever you see a question under the index number in the exam, you deal with it. So, it goes this way. Take note of this. Now, we're talking about the aggregate this time around because under the weighted average, now, under this weighted average, here, this scholar talks about the aggregate value. Of these numbers so for price remember this at all time submission P and Q over submission words P and Q just remember this okay now we're talking on the price okay times hundred this is for price now for quantity we'll have the same thing again we we'll have submission P and we have Q all over we have submission P and we have Q. Just remember that, okay? I'm coming back to give us a check there. So, all over 100. Now, for Pache, we have the same thing. Submission P and we have Q. In bracket, they will come down again. Submission P and we have Q. Times 100. So, for quantity, we also have the same thing. We have submission P, we have Q, all over we we'll have submission P again, and we'll have Q times 100. I just wanted to see the similarities between these formulas. That is the reason why I want to simplify it this way. And once you are able to remember these two formulas, this won't be a challenge to you. So, for Laspaye, the base, the denominator, sorry, the denominator rather, has what? O. O. And what does O signify? The base here, all right? Remember, N is the current year, O is the base year. Now, you can see the denominator has O, okay? And for Pache, the numerator has what? N, which is what? The current price. So, take note of what I just did now. So, let's come up again with this little illustration that can help you out. It's just like telling someone not to own something. We have no own, okay? No own. So, we have no and we have on. Can you remember this? Give it a try. No on. But before then, take note that under La Spire, the denominator has what? O. And O signifies what? The base price. So, we have no on. Now, under Pache, we have the double N. We have the N at the top at the numerator. And the N signifies what? The current year, okay? So, since we have no on here, under Pache, we have what? On no. Okay? So we have what? On and we have what? No. It's just a little bit twisted, but take your time and practice it. You will understand it. Now, when we come over to Fisher's ideal, Fisher's ideal here, yeah, we'll now look, talk about the, the square root. The formula goes this way the square root of what? Last Pache times. Pache, okay, it ends here, all right. Then we'll have what times 100. So this times 100 multiplied by 100 is not under the square root. You take note of that, it is not under the square root. So last by here times Pache, then times 100, okay. So if you have to answer this question in the exam, what you simply do is this since last by comes first, you do what if it is under the last by price. Last Paye price. So, this is the value for price under the Last Paye index. So, you bring this value to this place. You have what? Submission P, N, 
QO all over what? Submission PO QO times 100. You get it? So you do the same thing, multiply by Pache. You bring on Pache price again. But now, the only thing you won't take from it is what? The multiply, the multiplication sign. Because we already have it here. So it goes this way times. What do we have again? We have submission PN QN all over what? Submission PO and QN. All right? Now, this is last pay and this is Pache. We'll go with the formula times 100. When you talk about the quantity, you apply the same method. Remember, last pay comes first. Remember, last pay comes first. So you take note of whatever we're doing. Now we're moving with the formula. You see where it stops. Now, for the quantity, it goes this way again. We have what? The square root. Remember, we said it is what? Last pay times Pache times 100. Now we're talking about quantity, so we'll pick the value for the quantity. So we have what? Submission POQN all over submission POQO times, we're still moving with the formula. What do we have here again? We have submission PNQN all over submission PNQO then times 100. So you can see the reason why I told you that we need to take note of this formula first. When you are good with this, then inputting these other ones, both for Fishers and Marshall Edwards, won't be a challenge to you. So, when we come under Marshall Edwards, the formula is also similar to this. But here, we know we deal with the, um, the square roots. Now we talk about what? We have Laspaye plus, plus Pache. Then the bracket closes. Multiply by 100. Okay, now what is the formula for last Paye price? This is for last Paye price. So we have what? Summation PNQO all over summation POQO plus for Pache, we have Pache as what? Submission PNQN all over what? Submission POQN. Submission POQN. Then the bracket closes, multiply by 100. So you do the same thing to derive the, the price for the quantity. Now when you get to quantity, what you simply do is to pick that of Las Paye and this for Pache. You write the same thing. So what do we have here? In brackets, we have what? Submission POQN all over submission POQO plus, we're moving with the formula, right? So we have what again? We have submission now, this is Pache, okay? Just like what we have in the formula. Pache. We have what? Submission PNQN all over submission PNQO bracket times 100. So, you can see that an idea of these two formula has helped us derive this. All you need to remember is under the Fisher's ideal quantity, Fisher's ideal price and quantity index, it deals with the square roots. All right, then it will be multiplied by 100. Under Marshall Edwards, we now have a bracket open and also closed. And we now what? We still multiply by 100. But here, we add. Inside this, we multiply. So, this is the best step. Just practice it. This is the best step that will help you derive this formula. There is one more thing I need to reveal to you. Now, if in the question, you are asked to, if you are asked to solve the question in the examination, there is something very, very important. You also need one more table. And the table will guide you. It will guide you to have the right columns open for the, the solution. So it goes this way. Now, when the question is being given, you need to derive something. The question will give you the old price and the new price. And the question will also give you the new quantity and the old quantity. So to answer this question, it goes this way. You have the PO, PO, you have what? The QO. What else do we have? We now have what? The PN, and we have again the QN. The question will give you this. Then it's not left for you to derive the others. So this is how to get them. What is this? PO and QO. So the next thing we have here is what? You have POQO. POQO. You pick these two. 
one bracket, one column rather. Then P O Q N. P O and Q N. You pick it. Remember, P O Q O. This is where we have it. Then P O and Q N. This is the second one. Okay. Now we've collected that of P, right? So we'll come over to the next one. This is the next P we have. You now say P N Q O. So you have what? P N Q O. P N and Q O. Okay. Then P N and Q N. Okay. P N and Q N. So with this, we can move forward to answer the question. Because when you go back to the formula, you will see what submission P N Q O. Then you search for PNQO. This is PNQO. So whatever values you have here, you pick the total. Summation POQO. You search for POQO. This is POQO. Whatever values you have here, you pick it. All right? Then you identify them here and you get the solution. The same thing applies when it comes here. Summation POQN. You search for POQN. This is POQN. Summation. That means the final value you have here, you pick it. And summation POQO, you apply the same thing. POQO. So, this is actually the best and the easiest way to understand questions or the formula derivation under the index number. If you have questions or you need clarification, leave a comment below and we'll definitely get back to you. In the next video, we'll solve several examples to help you understand this very well. And whatever kind of question you see, under the index number, you will deal with it extensively. We wish you the best in all you do. And remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a lot of videos for you. Do have a good day. Goodbye.